What's up guys, this is JBomb here and I'm going to bring you to you guys my up-to-date tournament deck profile list. Um, I just came back from a league challenge just now, just about an hour ago. Um, I did pretty good. I went 3-1, and one, but just a little bit sour though, just because I didn't get first, second, or third. I won the first three matches. I lost the last one to a Picarom. Um, close match, but I misplayed in that one. So, 3-1, I won the first three and lost the last one, and I'm surprised I didn't get first, second, third. Uh, but that's okay, because, you know, it's all fun and games. Uh, but anyways, first round, I did play against a good friend of mine. He played the Magnezone Magnemite deck. Um, I got lucky there, because my first hand, I had uh, four Guzmas in hand, Drachi, Zapdos, and a Lightning Energy. So... Anytime he played the Magnemite onto the bench, I would just Guzma it and kill it. So that was lucky on my part. Uh, unlucky for him. But that was the first match. Uh, second match, I played um, a mirror match. I played a Zapdos, Jirachi. Um, he, had no, he, he didn't play any Jolteons, though. So um, we both drew bad on the first turn. Um, I had a Zero Aura GX on <laughs> on my active. He had a, a Tabu Koko GX on, on the active. Um, but yeah, it was a grind, but I eventually took it. I drew better eventually. Down the stretch, he didn't have any energies, so he wasn't able to attack me, and I won that way out. Uh, third match, I played a Lycanroc Zoark GX deck. Um, I'll, I'll show you my tech card in a bit, but I, I love it. Um, I won because she didn't draw any... Well, she had special energies, uh, the double color list for uh, Zoark. But I had a... Well, I'll actually show you the card right now because I have to. <laughs> um, I played uh, Enhanced Hammer. So this one destroys or removes a special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. So... Because that deck only runs four DCEs for Zoarks, it was I, I had that in hand from a Volkner. So once I took it out, it took a while to draw another energy onto Zoark. And I lucked out. So and I got it. She also had two Lycan Rocks on bench. Uh, I started not bench. Uh, the um, prized. So she couldn't evolve the Rock Ruff on her on her bench. Which sucks, but that was round three. Um, round four, I lost to Picaram. I misplayed. So I had a Jolteon in the active. I should have used the Swift Run GX, uh, GX move on his... Uh, what was it? It was a, it was a Zapdos on, on his active. I didn't have any Guzmas or Escape Ropes, but I could have used this to prevent his Picarom. He had a Picarom on bench with like six energies already. Uh, but I got greedy because I, I had I had a play for next turn to set up for Tapu Koko, but I gave up the two prizes just to pull that off. And I was already down, uh, I think it was two prizes. So he had two prizes left or three, I think. Two, I think. So all he had to do was knock out my Taco Coco, and he won. So I could have stopped it for one turn. Um, yeah, hit hit that for the hit that for GX move. He couldn't attack me or kill my Jolteon to get the two prizes. Um, next turn, I could have got Taco Coco. Uh, or that's how I think I, it would have went. But anyhow, I'll show you my deck list now. Um, so I play a Jolteon and an Eevee. I'm actually thinking about running two of this, but it's been running pretty smoothly right now. Uh, three Zapdos and four Jirachi staple. I actually love this card. A lot of people say 
don't play um, that many GXs in your deck. You better play Shrine. I actually play Shrine. Um, just because of like uh, the, the Zoark and Lycanrocs. Um, but I love this card. It makes your deck really consistent. You can retreat your um, Zapdosis after you attack. So you attack. It stays on your active. And without paying the retreat cost or any um, switching items, you can actually retreat it if it has a lightning energy attached to it. So it's actually very consistent, I find. And even if you start this as your active, you can just switch it back um, using a switch, escape rope, or even attach a lightning energy to it. Um, and the two Cocos, staple. Uh, Miss, sorry, uh, Mr. Mime, I tech this in uh, for any decks that play Ace Roller. Very big because, um, especially for Zorak Lycanrocs, you need multiple hits to take those GXs down. And if they Ace Roller, it takes another, what, two, two, three turns to take it down. So with this, they can't Ace Roller and it makes your, it makes your battle a lot easier. And the other one, staple, I think, Absol. Especially in a mirror match, um, you want to make it tough for your opponent to switch uh, retreat in and out. So that's my monster list. Uh, 14 monsters. I'll go over to the trainers. The search for nest balls, staple. Three Ultra Balls. Some play two. I play three. Um, because sometimes you have like energies in your hands or dead lilies. Um, you could just toss away. And you could just get Coco or any other. Anything you need, essentially. Uh, three Volkners. Same with this. Um, some people play four. I play three. Just because I hate having multiple uh, supporters in your hand. Like, if you have Guzmas, Volkner, and let's say a Lily or Cynthia, it's really hard to decide which, which one to use at a specific moment. I hate having clogged hands full of supporters. So three, it's been working good for me so far. Um, so that's that. I play four Guzmas. Staple. Four Electro Powers. Also staple. Um... Two choice bands. Um, this is good against, you know, Lycanroc, Zork, a mirror match against Tapu Kokos and all that stuff. I play one, two, three. I play six switch cards. So two escape boards for your Jirachis, two switches, and two escape ropes. Uh, some play three switch and one escape rope, but I find that two escape ropes is good. It's, especially if it's like a Guzma, especially if they have two Pokemon in play, one active, one bench. This is essentially like a Guzma, so I like it. Um, two stretchers. This I tried one, but I find that sometimes it's prized and I can't get it, and a lot of times you need. These for Zapdos or Jirachis. And your draw power, you have four Lilies staple in this deck. Cynthia. Some people play two Cynthias. Um, I like to play this one, Erica's Hospita Hospitality. Um, this is good, especially when you're playing Zorark or any deck, um, especially when they have a full bench active. Um, and this deck you burn through your hand really quick with Ultra Balls, um, your item cards. This, if you have four or lower, four or less cards in your hand, you get to draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So max, you can draw six, which is broken. You can have a handful of ten. Um, it works. But if you're winning early and like you have a full hand, you can just ditch it for Ultra Balls. So that's that. And this one, 
A hand's hammer. One thunder mountain. Um, shrine. I I like shrine, but I hate it because I play GXs. Um, I might play a Viridian Forest, but still testing it. Um, I think this is a really good deck. So shrine and thunder mountain. Energies. I play nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I find it very consistent, especially when you draw dead or you draw a bad first turn. It's very easy for you to come back into it. Um, I drew bad in two games and I came back to win it. So that is my deck. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like it, give me a like. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm getting ready for the League Cup, which is on Saturday. So... I'm still trying to make some tweaks, but I really think I should play two Jolteons though, instead of one. Uh, so it's still trying to figure out what to take out, what to put in. But yeah, that's my deck. Uh, I love you guys. I love your support. Thank you. And I hope you have a good night. I will be back here on Saturday after my League Cup. Peace out.